Ladies and gentlemen, Sea Dog Scooby's Extreme Dangerous Journey. Starting off with that booster down into that vortex opener, straight through that starting piece into the main straightaway with a booster and some pins. We got some death straights. We got some death slides into death straights. We got boosters into a makeshift jump. Christmas tree is stopping pans and a big pan in the back dropping you down into one of four. Oh no. Oh, uh, what? No! No! Oh, no! It, no! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! 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 Nope. As Tambrace comes out to the left-hand side, boosts into the pins and rolls over them just barely. Keeps a straight line as they go down through the death straights into the death slide death straights and keeps under control. Boosts our way across the jump. Will they get a good landing here? Cups it. No. Misses the cups entirely and Tambrace is dead. The other Bravo's dropping straight down. Looks like there's a skip chance straight into the wind bin. Chance to be rocketing up, rocketing down. Goes for the skip chance. Can't quite get it. It would have been a world record. And I think that's how the 49 second world record was set. Stan Frank misses, falls down. Looks like it's going to be Diablo Bob on the top track. Scoreboard center, Frank and Bubble Kramer on the bottom track. It looks like mustaches fall to their death. Scoreboard, Diablo Bob both go for it. Diablo Bob, the only one that survives, boosts right through. One more boost, tries to get into the wind bin. Can't do it. It's uh, murdered and killed. Oh, okay, goes for it, though. Hits a boost on the left hand side. Also, not enough speed is going to be eliminated. Chad the Bull Shark falls to their death. I mean, it's just. Like, I see how it's supposed to work, but it's, it's not working. I don't. Eh. Boosted down as they go through. And we've got some marbles going for the center. Oblivion Echoes and the Harps are going to be the first ones through. Let's see what happens. Oblivion Echoes coming up. Hits it. Good line to the right. Dings off the bang. Trying to avoid being knocked. It's not looking good for Oblivion Echoes. Needs to... Ooh, oh, that's not good. All right. Oblivion Echoes, Harvester. I would have some trouble. Need good, uh, need good timing. Not... Ooh. Harvester's out. Need good timing here. Nope, that's the opposite of good timing, and they're dead. Lovely. Cycling through a second time. More marbles coming around. Looks like it's going to be Corbin Boss going down to the bottom. And a bunch of marbles just getting killed by the polar. Corbin Boss to left hand side. Straight through. Looking. Oh, it's a. Oh, recovered perfectly. But is it short on the jump? No, it's good. Through the radar scanner. This is the best we've had a marble do so far. Corbin Boss to the left hand side. Into the double inverse push and close dishwasher. Having some trouble keeping them. Oh, they're going backwards, going forward, going backwards, going forwards, going backwards. Gonna try again from the beginning. Coming in on the right hand side again. Not the side they want to be on, but they're gonna go back and try again. Corbin Boss. A little shaky here on the approach. Looking to get through. They have no races. Little intimidated by everything on the field, but they're holding it together. Jumps over the top into the skinny rail and sticks the landing. And Corbin Boss, with their first ever race of the season, is looking to make a name for themselves here on the Thursday flare scene. Right down in the center of the Chad. Boosts off the left hand side. Looking good right now. Needs to find an opening as they advance through the rest of the Chad. Gonna swing around once. Oh, watch out for that thing. Up and down to the left. Tries to squeak around on the Wing Chun Dota. Not having any success just quite yet. The Chad's gonna knock him back to the the beginning. They're gonna try to get themselves through on the right hand side this time. Needs to watch out for that. Oh, good lord. The toothbrush really coming in hard. Corbin Boss comes through on the right hand side. Tries to get down into the wing. Chun gets a little bit of a squeeze. Gonna try to loop around. Is it enough? No loops around again. Corbin Boss denied. Hits the chat again and goes around another time. Wait a minute. Might have a chance for an opening here. Looking good. Corbin Boss is through. Looking to line it up with the cat. They're a little to the right. They're a little to the right. The, the, they, they were a little to the right. <laughs> They were just a little to the right. Kabas misses. Has to try to get through again. Pretty dang good attempt, though. Corbin Boss, not bad for your first race ever. Kabas coming down to the bottom. Looking to get themselves into the point of no return, but will the timing on the plumber be good? It's not looking good for Kamas. They're going to need to stall for a very long time. Kamas needs to continue to stall. Really needs to continue to stall. Conti no, needs to continue to stall. Needs to continue to stall. Whew. This is a flat surface, ladies and gentlemen. This is a flat surface. Flat surface. Do be careful. It's a flat surface. It is a it is a flat surface, ladies and gentlemen. Flat surface over here. Flat flat surface. Paradot gets the jump. Paradot flat. should be good. Paradot is getting clipped through the wall, but 
somehow finds a way to push forward. Stan Frank and Lonely Bentley having trouble with the wing judge. It'll be on the right hand side. Paradox pushes left hand side is going to be going, but going very slowly. Vlinders, Kamas. Kamas is dead. Vlinders is not. Vlinders holds. Four marbles still alive. Can Vlinders find a good line? Tries to push through into the Wing Chun Dota Dummy. And the Wing Chun Dummy blasts Bentley to the left hand side. And they're going backwards. So Paradot, the only one going forward right now. And might be the only marble to go forward. Oh, boy. Oh, Paradot. <laughs> Not quite enough speed. And it's down to Lonely Bentley and San Frank. San Frank almost being murdered by the laser there as they go to the center. But this could be good for San Frank because this is exactly what Paradox. Oh my goodness, Lonely Bentley almost just got wrecked by the Oh my goodness, the laser is just toying with Lonely Bentley. Lonely Bentley praying that they'll just be put out of their misery. But the cube's not in position. San Frank doesn't get... Oh no, Lonely Bentley is killed by the laser right before they fall off the map. And it looks like San Frank is not going to be faring any better as they roll backwards off of the slope. And it looks like this is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. No one beating this track tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Bombfuls, Beautiful Abundant Abyss. I think we're just going to go up to 20 percentile before we call it a night here for Thursday Flare. But thank you all for coming here. So we've got about four maps or so left to go. JJB and Buzz PJ making their way down to the bottom of the Vortex Opener as quickly as possible. Trying to get that good bounce over the back wall. But it looks like Sean the Bullshark is going to have a much better drop right down to the center. And they are dead dropping fast. Cyberdark again, not looking to be outdone. Also trying to keep pace with Sean the Bullshark. So two bobbles getting that early start as they go down to the bottom of the Vortex Opener. putting their turn. Buzz PJ and Paradox both coming down at the same time. Sean the Bullshark is going to hold the lead though as they go down into... The exit, it looks like Sean the Bullshark is going to have a pretty good start here as they go through into the first helix, keeping everything under control. Cyber Dark Dragon coming down in second place. It looks like Buzz PJ trying to get through in third, and Paradox coming around in fourth place as well. Sean the Bullshark makes the jump without being limited, so does Kraken. Coming down in the first boost, in cross those... Just a, just a little bit of a problem right here. I've, I've noticed I've noticed there's a little bit of a problem right here on the map. Just some something about right here on this map is where things start going wrong. I'm not sure I'm not sure what it is, but it seems like right about here everything just goes wrong on the map. I don't know. It's a little just some something about something about that just is just not working. Elsa to the left hand side. Goes across on the Mogul Pan into the next Mogul Pan. Trying to get through into the Divide without getting fallen out. And it looks like Elsa is going to hold it straight down the middle. Is this going to be good for Elsa in the first? Looking to finish the track. Rose could come around in second place, going straight through on the left hand side. Looks like they're going to a straight line as well. Good chance to get across on that middle line without having to go down to the bottom track. Elsa in the first, looking to get through for a straight shot down to the windmill. Is they going to be able to make the jump? It's straight down and straight center, I think. Oh no! Jumps over it! And Elsa actually makes it in! What a jump over the top of the hump! Despite all the improper creations on this map, Elson finds a way.